right, so my six sets of two are done. They're complete. My three sets of three partials are done. Those are complete. Uh, the stiff-legged deadlifts, I had wrote down two sets of 20. Uh, I can tell this is a big weakness of mine, but uh, I've got to start focusing on these. I need to have these in my training program every week or every other week for a couple of months. Uh, definitely feel them in my lats in a very interesting position, and that's part of the trap bar and the way your upper back and arms, elbows rotate uh, with the trap bar on the stiff-legged deadlift. Um, but I'm also feeling it in my hamstrings and glutes, which is really rare for me. Uh, this is solid work, but I also know that if I do another set of 20, I'm not going to recover. My head's a little fuzzy. Uh, might puke. Might puke. It's one of those days. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to recover for the training the rest of the week. So um, I'm going to pull back here, hold off, take my one set of these, learn from it, and adjust for next week. Continue to push from there. Take a few minutes break and come back with some actual clean and press. So let's keep it rolling, guys. keep putting bin shirts on and uh, seeing which ones feel decent which ones I can get um, a little bit of you know give and go out of without digging into my implant at all uh, I'm a little sore from that big log clean on on uh, Friday it's my implant I can feel it from right here to right here Ooh, it's about as wide as my finger um, going across here so 
Uh, even though it's not where I take the bar when I bench. Well, if I bench right there, see if I bench right there, yeah, that's about a half inch to an inch below where the bottom of that implant is. Um, so I'm being real careful, taking it lower, uh, and, and I'm nice and sore just generally throughout my ribs. Rolling the log up there um, and rolling the stone up there, even putting pressure around it, um, digs, I believe, is digging that implant into my ribs, uh, sternum, and pec muscles and leaving me quite sore. It's really like being kicked in the balls. Um, I don't usually, it's, it's just like getting kicked in the balls. You get kicked, you're like, oh gosh, that hurt. And then like about three minutes later, you're just like, oh man, I'm gonna puke. Uh, so that's kind of how it feels. And I want to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, I really want to play with some different bench shirts to see which ones I can get work out of. The catapult, uh, it works. I, I know that it works. Uh, this metal single ply shirt, it was closed back and I cut it open. It's obviously huge. Um, I can play with it, get a belt on, and uh, I can get something out of it, even just a little bit of stopping power on the triceps on the way down. Uh, and I have a couple shirts really, really similar. I've got my denim in the car, as always. I know that I can put that on and get something out of that. If I continue benching today, though, I'm going to be really, really sore. And I'm not going to recover. And tomorrow, I want to go outside and possibly do log and some sandbags. So it's all about playing playing the game of, of long term. So um, you saw the deadlifts, deadlifts went well, moved over to Axel. I've got a plan, uh, working on some new numbers. You know, I've always been rotating these numbers, fives, three sets of threes, threes, twos, and ones. Um, I've been doing five sets of five on Viking lately. Um, I think I did some three sets of five maybe last week on Axel. I don't really remember. I've got it written down. Uh, I did uh, three sets of five on Axel today with my beginning weight of what I want to start building with a little bit because I need the muscle, I need the work, uh, I need the foundations of you know all that front, side, rear delt, the upper back, the technique. Uh, I don't need to stress my spine and a lot of my joints with doing push press right now. Uh, I need to continue to build my strict, the muscles that are going to allow me to move weight. Uh, I got the three sets of five that I wanted. They all felt really, really good, especially after deadlifts. Um, and then I put a one kilo PR on there and still knocked that out. I know that I can't do that very long. We will see how it goes the next couple of weeks. So the next week, the, the fives should be just a hair, just a hair heavier, uh, making very slow, steady progress. You guys know me. And that if you keep digging into those muscles, we're not gonna perform as strongly at the end of a press session. So I moved over here to the um, bench press. I haven't flat benched in a year and a half, I'm guessing. Um, so I, I put the, uh, the catapult on, three sets of 12, two sets of eight, and a set of five, and then put this little shirt on and just did a single. So. Um, I've got some all around chest, shoulder, and tricep work going on. And that's what I need on a consistent basis. If I come in here, and this is just me. I know a lot of my clients are not this way, but this is just me and what I've learned about my body. My body, especially upper body, and all my weaknesses, which is upper body especially, respond very well to frequency. So I need to press more often. I need shoulders more often. Uh, I need biceps, triceps, chest, um, everything more often, but as you do that, you have to pull back the all-out intensity. I can keep the volume at a decent, moderate level, but I can't go all out like I like to do on squats, deadlifts, zones, sandbags, things like that. Not for very long, anyway. I'm going to burn out, and I've got to play the long game here. Got to play the long game here. So, great training session. I got uh, a, a buddy sent me a Zune. I've got, I've had my old Zune since. 2006 when it first came out still got the sucker right here uh, the 120 um, not HD version and it just won't charge anymore and for some reason it will only charge here at the gym and it has to stay plugged in so I can't hook it into my computer at home and transfer files because my computer won't hold it open and keep it running uh, but a buddy of mine sent me his old one 
So I took it home and messing with that with all my files the last couple of days. Video quality on a Zoom is so much better than Spotify. It was so much better, uh, the audio quality. Audio quality is so much better than an iPod of any kind that I've ever used, um, of any kind of MP3 player that I've ever used. Same audio files as well. So glad to have it back here playing with some old soundtracks, some old playlists. Got to get this thing continually built and uh, keep the nostalgia rolling. So I'm going to clean up a little bit, get out of here, go home. Still got four or five more days before my wife comes home and a major Kentucky game has to happen as well. So hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope to see you guys tomorrow night for uh, Log Press and Sandbags. Have a good one, guys.